In this part of the series, we deal with the 10 dog breeds what the strongest bite force. It was not an easy task for us, partly because there are so many dog breeds and varieties in the world with similar bite strength, between which there is only a hair's breadth apart, and partly because there are dog breeds, not a few, whose bite force has never been measured by anyone. And in a well-documented way. If you're curious about the rest of the series as well, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and also press the bell button so you'll always be notified of new parts. Feel free to send suggestions in the comment section as well, write down what top lists you would be interested in. Before we get to the list, we need to clarify a concept by all means. This is nothing more than what the mysterious PSI is, in which the bite force is usually measured and documented. Since these measurements were made primarily in the Anglo-Saxon countries, the PSI meaning is a value in units of measure there, which is nothing more than pound per square inch, i.e. the weight measured in pounds per square inch. That's perhaps enough from science now, let's look at the list. 10th, Belgian, Dutch Shepherds. Sheepdogs from the Dutch region, such as the of the Belgian Shepherd and Dutch Shepherds. Their task was to protect livestock herds in the past, and today they are known as extremely agile and active service dogs of outstanding intelligence. Due to their excellent health and speed, more and more armed bodies are switching to keeping, training and using these excellent breeds, as their ability to catch is also excellent, it is no coincidence that they are ranked 10th on the list. Their authentically measured bite force typically ranges around 200 to 220 psi. 9th, Medium-Sized German Working Dogs Medium-Sized German Working Dogs, such as the German Shepherd and the Doberman, were typically developed in the second half of the 19th century, in the first decades of the 20th century, in almost all cases for guard and protection purposes. Almost all of them can be said to be created, in quotes, on paper, and were consciously shaped to be the breeds, who excel as service dogs in our days. This work was carried out by Captain Alois Doberman in the case of the Doberman, and by Captain von Stefanitz in the case of the German Shepherd. Their average bite strength in the measurements ranges from 240 to 250 psi. 8. Larger Bully Types of Dogs The vast majority and ancestors of these dog breeds came from 19th century England, where they were bred primarily for dog fights. Here, of course, we should not think of the small-sized Staffies, but rather the American Pit Bull Terriers, the Amstaffs, and the American Bulldogs, who have already been finalized in America, and the English Bull Terriers. These breeds have a huge grip and bite force relative to their size, with an average value around 300 psi, according to authentic measurements. 7th, Large German Working Dogs. Here are mainly two breeds, very similar in their bite strength, who fall into this category, the Rottweiler and the Giant Schnauzer. Both breeds have an ancient past, but their final form was also consciously developed in the early 20th century. Their average bite force is around 330 to 350 psi, according to validated measurements. 6. St. Bernard's and Leon Burgers. These two huge dog breeds are not only similar in character, but also in their measured bite force, which, according to credible sources, could be around 380 to 390 psi. The similarity is not accidental either, since, for example, the St. Bernards, from whom their great stature was inherited, played a very important role in the conscious formulation of Leon Burgers. Fifth, Czechoslovakian Wolfhound. The measured results of the bite force of one of the most interesting dog breeds in the world, who are the closest to the European grey wolf in their genetics, typically shows a value around 400 to 410 psi. This is perhaps not even a coincidence, as this breed began to be developed in the 1950s by crossing German shepherds and wolves by Czech sinologists, mainly for military purposes. In addition to their appearance, endurance and health, it is said that their bite force was also inherited directly from the wolf ancestors. Fourth, Dogo Argentino. This beautiful, large-bodied, snow-white giant, in addition to being an excellent working dog, is a terribly efficient hunter. 
Brazilian breeders have specifically adapted their nature to Brazilian hunting habits. These were certainly not easy, as they had to defeat wild boars and big wild cats, which was not harmed by above-average catching and biting power. Their biting force is estimated to be around 500 psi based on the measurements. Third, large mastiff breeds. English mastiff, Dobe de Bordeaux, Neapolitan mastiff, and Tosa Inu, who would not have heard of these giants, most of whom are descendants of ancient molossers. Due to their huge head and wide jaws, their biting force is above the average, as almost all of them averaged between 540 and 570 psi by existing and available measurement results. All this, of course, is not feedback on the working abilities of these giant breeds, as most of them nowadays function much more as peaceful and friendly family dogs. Second, Kaani Corso. While the Kenny Corso breed is also one of the favorites of the creators of this film, here we feel a little bit confused, as we don't see any meaningful explanation for why the Kenny Corso is so high on the charts, ahead of other big-bodied Mastiff breeds. The bite force of this excellent and agile Italian Mastiff breed is often estimated to be between 600 to 700 psi by almost all measurements, but this value is strange for us, although we would not call it suspicious. In any case, if so many sources claim and clarify this result, we will believe the data and Kane Corso is second on this list. First, Kangal. Without exception, in all similar summaries containing measuring results, the Turkish Kangal is in the first place, with the amazing, over 700 PSI values. Here, we are also somewhat uncertain and often wonder what role the successful Turkish marketing can play in this outcome. In our humble opinion, next to the Kangal, there should stand the other large EAA Stern livestock guardian dogs, such as the Caucasian Shepherds, the Central Asian Shepherds, or even the Hungarian Commodores, although, there are no credible source of measurement results related to them. However, since their formation and area of use are very similar to those of the Kangals, let us be bold and classify them as well around the podium. If you like this series, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell button to get notifications of new parts. Thank you very much for your attention.